back to Linda's pantry and this is a super short video. I just wanted to let you know how I've decided to store some of my um, chilies. So I have a plethora of chilies out in the garden and I wanted a way to be able to store them in portion control. So I want it to freeze, but how do I portion control this? So this is how I'm doing it. And I'm gonna let this thaw out a little bit. We'll see if it's ready to pop out of here. So I roast the chilies on the grill. You can do them in the oven. You can do them any way you want. Steam them in a sealed bowl. Put some uh, saran or foil over it so they steam for 10 or 15 minutes. Slip the skins, get the seed out. And then you're gonna pack these and I packed them in eight ounce um, canning jars and now I'm I let it sit in a little bit of warm water just to loosen it from the jar when I feel like I know it's loose well it was I may have to soak it a little bit longer and these jars are dedicated just for this so I'm gonna get a little bit more hot water and I'll show you how easy it is and then you can put them in a ziploc and freeze them and keep them and you have a portion hold on so I've got warm water in here in this little bowl and it should be, it should be enough. You can go around, just kind of feel and see if it's loosening up. I can totally feel it loosening. When you can kind of twist that in the jar, can you see that where it's moving around? And these were only in there overnight. So you're gonna take that jar out, okay? Put this one in and the water just comes up the sides and out pops your portion. And now I'm gonna put this in a freezer bag. How easy is that? Into a freezer bag, here we go. Now I'm dripping. And back in the freezer, and these are ready for recipes, any way you like it. So I hope this inspires you and I hope it helps you because now you've got eight ounces. I always use two four ounce cans of chilies. These are mild poblano. So you can do this with your jalapenos, your green peppers, any kind of peppers you want that you want to freeze for later, you can do it this way. So I'm gonna go back out and grab some more and roast them off, but this is the start of my frozen chilies. And yeah, I'm hoping to get plenty more. I don't have enough to can, otherwise that would be my other option. So I hope this has helped you. I hope that if you're uh, new to my channel, you'll subscribe and um, give me a like. And leave a comment down below and let me know how you preserve your peppers. All right, guys, we'll see you next time for another delicious recipe using some chili. So I just wanted to come back on and tell you, I microwaved the water to get it warm for about uh, 30 seconds is all you need. And then as soon as I can spin those chilies, I know that they're loose enough to come out of here. Pull your jar out. It's not hot enough to crack. I mean, the jar is cool. Um, but there you go. That's how easy it is. And in the bag, now we've got three recipes all set. So I'm gonna get these back in the freezer, just like that. I'll label the bag and I'm gonna go out and get some more peppers and do the same thing. I'll rinse these jars out and freeze them so you don't really even need that knife, but look at that. There you go. You've got your three frozen peppers for later. All right, I hope it helps. <laughs> Bye guys, for, for sure. Bye.